Welcome to today's video, everybody. Here was an exciting review from TC Audio, and we're gonna check out this product, the Stellar X2 Vintage Microphone. So we're gonna do a quick unboxing here. It's gonna be two parts. So right there, this microphone is supposed to have a, a sound that's gonna be reminiscent of some old classic microphone models. I have quite a bit of experience. If you know the channel, if you're familiar with me, you know I've worked with a lot of microphones of all types. So we're gonna do an unboxing part here. So you open up the box and it comes with this nice carrying case here. I was impressed by this. This is so cool that it came with a carrying case. You know, very nice case, good quality. It's gonna definitely be a good place to keep up with all your stuff and it also is gonna do a good job protecting everything. There is a Stellar X2 Vintage. All right, so let's pop this baby open and let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. So to start off, they give us a little quick start guide. And also this cool spec sheet here on the microphone. I thought this was something nice. That's something that comes with more expensive microphones. So it looks like they're gonna do a little bit of testing here. So I thought that, that was a pretty nice touch. You know, test the sensor sensitivity and the frequency range of the microphone. Let's see what else we got in this little baggie here. All right. So let's take a look at that. Actually, it's signed and dated on when they did the testing on this microphone. And this quick start guy here, we also have a little quality page here. Quality page. As you can see, they actually have some information here. They had the frequency response there. It's pretty neat that they give us that. Quick start guide. I think if we're if we're buying these microphones in this price range, at this point we know how to hook it up. Okay. All right now we got our nice carrying pouch here. A nice quality carrying pouch too. I like it. Very nice. It does come with a foam windscreen that you can put on it. Now let's look at the mic itself. This is the star of the show. Let's just let it slide right out of there. Oh yeah, that's so nice. It's actually quite a bit smaller than I was expecting. You know, I've usually with microphones like this, they're a lot larger than this. The Stellar X2 Vintage. The build quality of this feels pretty good. Nice gold plated XLR pins there. At least they look like they're gold plated. I think they are. Very nice windscreen up there, covering up the element in there. Put it right in here just for safekeeping for a moment while you look at everything else. So we also have the shock mount. Now this shock mount here, if I'm being perfectly honest, from the pictures on Amazon I've seen, it's, it's just one of those little spring loaded type. It just kind of squeezes and then microphone clamps in there. I'm not really a big fan of these type of shock mounts because I find them to be kind of flimsy and they tend to break on me, but we're gonna try this one out quality of it feels pretty good so I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't break it seems like it should be okay fits in there just like so clamps right in then sitting on your mic stand just like that beautiful okay guys so I'm actually gonna come in here live and chime in so something I wanted to do I want to actually disassemble the microphone here don't worry I'm gonna stop if there's a warranty void sticker but it's important to me to disassemble these to check out the build quality of products like this. So, first of all, as I was mentioning in the voiceover over the opening part, the build quality of this is very nice. All the metals feel very well built and sturdy. So I just want to take a look at this. This isn't the type of channel where I'm going to get too super in depth into things about you know the types of capacitors and things that are used on here. I know there are some channels where they will do that. But I just want to show you this. The things that I kind of look forward to build quality of these sorts of things. You know, do we see any problems with the soldering joints in here? Do we see, does this feel flimsy or anything? And I'm not getting that at all. The build quality looks good. All the soldering looks clean on here. And I don't really see anything that looks like it should be a problem. The joints down there look good. It, once again, I just want to point that out. Everything feels very solid here. I apologize. Looks like the camera doesn't like to focus in on here. Also, another reason I like to disassemble these mics 
occasionally there is other switches and things that are hidden you know to let you do um adjustments and whatnot uh there's another microphone that i have that's like that but once you disassemble it there is you know switches that allow you to adjust the sound quality uh i'm not going to mention that because this video is focused on this one but yeah that was just a quick little disassembly to show you the build quality and just to check to see if there's anything that looks problematic here but everything looks good and you know this i am impressed with the build quality of this you know it definitely feels like a product that would be worth uh the price that they're asking for it so now you guys are going to get to hear how it sounds that's right this whole time you've been listening to me talking on this microphone if you want to get more of a demo with some more sounds than just some talking make sure you come to part two where you're going to see me use this to create a whole song 